Hi guys, welcome back to SRE Customs. Today is a pretty cool day. I just got my RCK5 um, chassis in the mail. Just showed up today. Um, Tim shipped it out to me, got here in two days. Uh, great guy, very trustworthy, very easy to work with. Um, you know, you know how sometimes when you buy something, you know, it's, it's, you know, you worry about customer service or whatever. This guy is, is incredible, bar none. He'll answer your answer questions. He sent me videos. I mean, just hands down a great dude. So, okay, now let's get into the, into the chassis. The thing that I really noticed about the chassis that I liked um, better than than the the competitor chassis is that if you'll notice how long and how beefy that front engine or front chassis brace is and then you can see this rear chassis brace that isn't even there on the other competitors chassis it's just something like this but not even as as beefy as that but these these intersect if you can see and that just makes the chassis insanely strong and stiff rigid uh, look at the size of his turnbuckles that he does the quality of them I mean they're awesome I mean um, the kit is well well worth um, what he's asking, um, as a matter of fact, um, you know, you're getting a deal if you, if you get this chassis with what's on it. Uh, and, and it's just the, the quality, um, and you know, how beefy and strong everything is and the machine work is flawless. Um, I'm going to do a build on this. So, um. Uh, I'll do it step by step with you guys on the channel and we'll go through um, I um, Am gonna stick with the plastic arms. That's what I like. I, I don't want uh, billet arms because of the weight um, uh, I would rather have this now one other thing I'd like to, to point out to you, you know how <clears throat> on the um, on the competitor's chassis to to mount the cage to the back you have to buy this adapter thing with and it has like these um wire holder things that are made for a chassis to hold wire onto a, a race car chassis or brake lines and that's what secures it around uh so the cage uh fits it's not like that on this the the, the back bumper just goes right on you know what i'm saying i mean it's stuff like that, the thought that went into it, you know, um, you know, and look at, look at how, how thick the top plate is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, it's awesome. It just is. It's a beautiful chassis. He did a, he did a knockout job on it for me. Um, now, uh, I guess he offers engraving, anodizing. Um, you know, he, he can do it all for you uh, when it comes to chassis, hands down. Um, so uh, he's my new my new chassis guy. I'm not I'm not gonna make another. Um, if I do a, a decide to do another one, I mean, I'm, this will make two now that I have two two hybrids, and and um, I don't really probably won't need another one. But if I do, um, I'm definitely going to this guy. Uh, Tim is. Tim, bro, shout out to you, bro. You know, thanks a lot. Um, was your idea and uh, uh, worked out great. I really like it. So thank you very much. Um, you know, thanks for fast shipping. Thanks for answering my questions that I had on it. I know I was kind of a pain in the butt, but I appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Um, okay, guys. Um, 
I just wanted to to show you, you know, where we were at. Um, I've been gone for a couple days. I just got back um, last night, so um, I'm going to be shipping the Raminator engine out tomorrow. That's all done. Um, let's see, Charles, um, your stuff uh, I'm going to test tomorrow, and then, uh, you know, if everything goes great, I'm going to get that boxed up too and out, you know, within the next couple of days. Um, let's see. Um, there's more stuff. I know the pipes I got to ship out. Um, I guess I'll do that. Not tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I'll ship the pipes because I still have to convert the one pipe uh, to end bleed. Um, so, uh, okay guys, uh, you have a great day. This is SRE and I'm out.